Well, the temperatures, as we mentioned, they're rising and things are heating up in Flowery Branch as the Falcons suit up for the first day of practice in pads. We are officially in week two of training camp and Fox 5 is the only TV station with full sideline access. So let's check in with Kelly Price and DJ Shockley in Flowery Branch this morning. They're bearing the heat, giving us the very latest. Good morning, guys. Yeah, it's not too hot quite yet, but they are about to turn up the heat on the field behind us later today. They're putting on the pads for the first time. Yeah. We're joined today by general manager Terry Fontenot. I don't even hear what she said. Y'all need to hook me up with Yeah, her. yeah. Well, she it's said, not need, that hot, hot yet, she said. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, so we're here with you, Terry. Uh, obviously, we saw a bunch of fans here the other day, huge fan crowd that you got to address the other day. Why do you think fans are kind of more excited than normal this time of year, um, this going into this year's training camp? Yeah, you, you definitely feel some extra excitement. Now, right. the cool thing about our fans is, regardless, they're Atlanta Falcons fans, mm -hmm. and they believe in their team. And so that's what you love about it. So wherever the team is, win, lose, or draw, they're there to support the team. And so that's why you want to do the very best you can because they deserve to win a lot and to have a really fun, successful season, which we're going to have. But it's great to see them. They bring the energy to the practice, and um, we already see them out there right now. It's fun. Now, T, uh, everybody saw what happened this offseason. You had a chance. You had a little money in your pocket this offseason, and you was able to go out and add to this team. And you could tell exactly where the mindset of you guys were, you and Arthur. But just talk about some of the new additions to this squad. Obviously talking about on the defensive side made an impact, but just adding to this team and adding depth at a lot of key spots. Yeah, and that's what's cool because it's really in every phase, whether you're talking about offense, defense, or the kicking game. We're able to add some really good players, but players that have the right makeup as well. Mm -hmm. Whether you're talking about a, a Clayus Campbell, a Jesse Bates, a David Onyemata, a Caden Ellis, they're all really good football players, and right. we're seeing what they're doing on the football field, but they're also good human beings that are going to add to this community, so we're excited about it. I'm curious what you watch during training camp as general manager. Do you kind of evaluate the guys like that, that you've brought in, the new draft picks? Are you watching other guys and their progress? What do you kind of watch? Yeah, because you know the hard part about this is, is we have 90 players on the roster right now. And we're going to cut down to 53 plus 16 and try to get to the best 48 on game day. So that's the hard part. You, you know, we had to meet with a player this morning that we, we let go. And, and you have to have those conversations. You have to do that. That's the challenging part of this business. So we're evaluating. We have our scouts in town, obviously our coaches on a daily basis. Every player is getting tested on everything they do. You don't expect perfection. It's progress over perfection. And yet we are evaluating the players out there. You guys have talked about competition being something you really want to see in this camp and something different maybe from years past. Have you seen that being played out oh, so it's, far? It's an extremely competitive camp. and there's a It's going to be hard to make this team. Well, it's going yeah. to be tough to make <laughs> this well, team. Well, it's just yeah. what you want. Yeah, it, it, it's been really competitive in, in, in a good way. There's right. been a lot of back and forth. And iron sharpens iron like men sharpen man, and those guys are really out there competing. And I'll tell you, obviously, everybody knows when you get into this part of the season, you talk about – your rookies. You talk about the way you go out and draft guys. That's ultimately one of the biggest things that you have to do is kind of evaluate these guys. When you think about some of these rookies, how do you think they fared so far? And how do you think it's going to fare going into the first day of pads? It's been great. And, and this is it's, it's really challenging because that's a transition going. Obviously, you've, you've done it going from college mm -hmm. to the NFL. It all happens really fast. Right. And we have a tough camp. Yeah. And, and, and that's every camp isn't going to be the same as ours, but we have a tough camp. So we have to bring in players that can handle that. And the players that we brought in, they can. They, they really handle that transition. Again, it's a day-to-day -day battle, but we love the makeup of our young players. What's your favorite part of training camp? It's, it's this right here. It's getting to go out and it's see It's talking to us? Yeah. Wow. It's, it's sort of That's amazing. To you guys, but I got to get the earpiece next time. <laughs> it's getting to go out and watch the players really compete and have fun. The toughest part is, like I said, we're going to have to cut this roster down at some point, and it is going to be a hard – Thing to make, but mm -hmm. seeing the players compete and get better every day, it's really fun. All right, team, before we let you go, I was coming in and we were just talking about all the fans that were outside, and I said, hey, we're going to have a chance to sit down with Terry Fontenot. What are a couple things you would like to ask Terry Fontenot? And two things came up. Your greatest accomplishment and what keeps you up at night? Wow. I, I, I know, right? Fans, <laughs> fans bringing it. <laughs> and, and, and I would say the, the greatest accomplishment is that we want to bring in the right types of players yeah. because it's bigger than football, right? Right. We are going to have a really successful team and a really successful season. We're going to win a lot of championships. Mm -hmm. And yet we want to do it with the right kind of people. And when you look at the team that 
we built and the team that we put together, we do have the right kind of people. Like that. It's guys that you want your kids to wear these jerseys. Yeah. We really believe in that. They're not perfect. None right. of us are perfect. Because you got right. a son that looks up to him just like I do. Yeah, absolutely. 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 None of us are perfect, and yet we do believe in the makeup of this team. And what keeps you up at night is just that you want to make sure you're finding the right 53. And you want to make sure that you're doing everything you can to make sure we put the best team on the field. And because you don't want to release a player and you can't bring him back and all of a sudden he goes, we want to make sure. So we want to watch as much film as we can, really evaluate these players and make sure we're putting together the right team. See, just the other day, I told Bassett this. I was out throwing with one of the Premier League guys and I was hitting targets. So just in case, you know, something happens and, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready for you. You still got it. I have a question for you. Would you be more of a mobile? You used to be mobile. Yeah. Are yeah. you still a mobile quarterback Absolutely. or are you more of a pocket passer? <laughs> I can be whatever you need me to be, too. That's, what I, that's the best thing I got for you. Versatile. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Awesome. Well, we got the first day of pads here on deck at training camp. Terry, thanks so much for joining Thank us. You. Terry Fano, general manager for the Falcons. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right. Expect DJ to suit up for the next half hour, DJ. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much.